Hi guys, hey, I wanted to go over this free game schedule that you can get in the download area at easydigitals.com and I will put a link below to where you can download it. So I think this would be great on any poster or photo or you could use it on a business card. On Some photographers on the back of a business card will put the game schedule and on the front they'll put a photo of the team with their website. It's a great way to promote your business. Have the cheerleaders hand these out at the games and you're doing the team a favor and you're also promoting your business. So let's go ahead and get started. When you open it, you're going to see these folders if you're using the Photoshop version. In the Elements version, you will not see folders because Elements doesn't support folders. At least the version that I have doesn't. Um, version 12 might. So you're gonna see these folders and I like to go ahead and just start by putting it on my subject. If you're going to use this as a business card, you'll wanna immediately resize it to a business card size so that you can say image size and you can say scale styles and that's going to make all of your styles go to the right size rather than resizing it uh, then the styles will be all messed up so i wanted to make sure you are aware of that so here is my poster that i'm going to use and i'm just going to kind of work with this and figure it out as i go i'm going to take i think my light version would look better with this poster and I'm just going to drag this whole folder in and I get this error about the color match and I'm just going to say okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side. Now uh, I have this selected and if I make sure I have auto select group turned on then I can select this and move it wherever I want. So I can decide if I want it up high or if I want it low and I think it looks good down here so I'm gonna put it right here. Another thing you could do is you can resize this whole thing as long as the group is selected by pressing down your shift key and bringing it larger or smaller. And let's say I wanted it smaller like this. I press enter and then I can open this up and grab my back and just it's a shape and I can just stretch it out and press enter. Then I can take all of my game or my game information and scoot it to the center. And then you can even turn off this background if you don't want it, or you could change the color to a different color. And let me see what's going on here. I have, oh, it's not turned on. Okay, so you could change it to a different color and then you can also change the opacity. So you could make it 100% or like really light opacity. So there's a lot you can do with that background. And you can turn off the stroke if you don't like it. Okay, so let's say we want to change the color of this year. I'm going to go ahead and select my type tool. and I'm going to highlight it. And I'm just going to select a color in his uniform. I can do the same thing by changing the text over here. I'm just going to select it, control A, it's a little box, and select right in the center here. The same with this. Okay, so once you change the color, you need to make sure that it's easy to read. They have these styles, and sometimes they can make it harder to read and they're really designed to make it easier to, to read and make it look better. But I'm going to, let's turn off the drop shadow and see if that makes it easier to read. In a way it kind of does. Another thing you can do is turn it up 100%, which I think that's kind of a nice accent for the time over here that's black. So I am going to leave it with that. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I could either change it or I could just say, come over here and go, copy layer style and paste layer style and now it has the same style so let's say I want to change this to say soccer I'm going to do my cap lock here if I want it to be all perfectly straight and align with everything, which I like sometimes. I'm going to um, come to my character. 
and I'm going to come, I'm gonna use my scroll wheel on my mouse and I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, and then I'm going to push this down, view, fit on screen, and then I'm gonna come over to this and I'm going to push this up. And if you wanted to, you could drag out a guide here to make sure it's exact. Um, if you want more spacing on these letters, you can grab You may, with the same situation, you may want to have more or less. I would grab all of these, except the title, and I would make it smaller or larger if you get rid of games, and then I would add the game. And then you would just go to each one of these and add the information. That's how you do that. Another thing you can do is you could make this smaller and you could just put it in the corner. To put the whole thing in the corner. Grab the group and put it over here or maybe over here. This layer here has more styles so you can play around with turning those off and see if you like it better without some of these styles. So I hope this gives you a good overview of how this game schedule works. Be sure and head over to my website and check it out and make sure that you check out the samples and enjoy.